Good morning. My name is Pippa Mills and I'm the Deputy Chief Constable in Essex Police. I'd like to read a statement to update you on a live murder investigation being led by the force following the tragic discovery of 39 bodies inside a lorry container this morning. Shortly before 1.40am today, we received reports that a number of people had been found inside a lorry's container at the Waterglade Industrial Park on Eastern Avenue in Greys. We believe the lorry is from Bulgaria and came into the UK through Holyhead on the 19th of October. Emergency services attended, but sadly all 39 people inside the container had died. Early indications suggest that one of these people was a teenager, the rest are believed to be adults. A murder investigation was launched and the lorry driver, a 25-year-old man from Northern Ireland, was arrested on suspicion of murder and remains in police custody. At this stage we have not identified where the victims are from or their identities and we anticipate this could be a lengthy process. I would like to thank the local community and in particular those who have been directly affected by the police cordon at the industrial site. Thank you for your cooperation and I appreciate the impact the road closure will have on businesses within the cordon. I'm unable to say at this stage how long the cordon will be in place but please let me reassure you that my officers and partners will be doing everything they can to release the scene as soon as possible. This is an absolute tragedy and very sad day for Essex Police and the local community. We will continue to work alongside many other partner agencies to find out what led to these deaths. I'd like to appeal for anyone who has any information to contact my officers at the major investigation team on 101 or by visiting our Essex Police website. We will update all of our channels as we're able to, but please appreciate we're in the early stages of what is likely to be a lengthy investigation. Was there any indication at all about the nationality of these people? I appreciate it's early days in terms of identification. Not at this stage, and obviously the identification of the, of the, of the victims remains our number one priority, so that will be taking place. What, what led you to go to the scene to investigate? Um, we received a call from the ambulance service um, for to taking us to and the why scene. Were they I'm not sure of that information at this point in time. Um, not at this point in time. Obviously, can you tell us a bit more information about the pathway of the lorry? Um, you said that it, it, it came through Holyhead and was Bulgarian. Do you know how the lorry entered Ireland? Do you have any dates? Any, any... So as I've said, it's the early stages of the investigation, but obviously that will be a key line of inquiry. And as I've said, if anyone's got any information relating to that lorry and its movement since entering the country on the 19th of October, then please do contact us on 101. At what stage are you at with your operation of removing and dealing with those bodies at home? It's, it's very early it's stages, it's a complex scene and we've got expert officers working with partners at the scene to identify and the, the best way forward to do right. that. Are they male or female? Um, in terms of the identification of those those um, individuals, um, not, not in a position to say Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid that's all we're going to have time for this morning. Thank you very much for attending here. As soon as we have updates, we'll make them available.